I, how do I feel about returning to the MCU? I feel great about it. I mean, it's, I love working with Marvel. I love Sharon Carter. And so um, coming back to play her has been amazing, especially getting to play this new version of Sharon, who I think is just awesome and kind of, um, you know, cynical, rough around the edges. Uh, yeah, it was, it was cool that we actually get to see where she's been, what she's been up to, and, you know, always a blast to come back. With Sharon, I think, you know, we initially meet Sharon as this, you know, wide-eyed, extremely loyal to Cap, you know, um, young agent who's, you know, full of integrity. I mean, I, I, that's sort of who she was in the comic books. And it was really fun to play that. And then I think, you know, with all of the sacrifices that we see that she makes in Civil War, she has to go on the run. Um, and then suddenly we just don't see her for several years. Um, I don't think there was any way around um, around it, but to really address the situation head on. And, and here we find her in Majapur and um, she's still a fugitive. She's, you know, been hustling, or, you know, dealing art, you know, stolen art in, in this um, sort of pirate-like town. And, um, you know, it's just a very different version of, of Sharon than we've seen and rightfully so. And for me, it was a lot of fun to play that. And, you know, I just really am glad that we got to explore that side of her and that we didn't just sort of bring her back and everything's just like back to normal because there's just no way that you can't address all of that time. Um, so yeah, I loved playing this version of Sharon. It was very intense to prepare for these fight sequences um, only because I was shooting two projects at the same time and you know, with anything, um, for me anyway, I just, I have to do it, you know, at a thousand percent. And so when I wasn't shooting, I was, you know, uh, stunt training, um, as much as I possibly could also because, you know, with these sequences with Sharon, you know, she doesn't have any powers, you know, I mean, it's all, you know, me <laughs> do, fighting essentially. Um, and so, um, yeah, we just, we spent a lot of time months, you know, preparing and just figuring out what Sharon's fight style would be in this, in this world of Madripoor. Um, but also having had this technical, you know, agent background and, and training in that sense. So it was just very, very cool to explore that. And, and, you know, the training was hard, but it's, you know, always rewarding, you know, when you put the time into something like that. <laughs> probably a good magic war is probably a good metaphor for her state of mind I mean you get there and it's chaos and it's um you know it's lawless and it's it's so much fun and our set designers did such an incredible job you know making this world just seem so you know out there um and the fact that Sharon has been existing within this world um, for quite a while and she's thriving really. I mean, it shows that, you know, she can kind of sort herself out wherever she is in, in whatever circumstance she's in. Does that mean that she's happy with it? No. <laughs> and I think you get that sense when she sees the boys for the first time. I mean, she's quite annoyed, um, and very, very pissed off and rightfully so, but they're also kind of her ticket out and to that part and that she so badly wants. So um, yeah, it, it, you know, I think Madripoor is the perfect place to find Sharon after all this time. I mean, it's just, I love working with these guys so much and Kari is just an amazing director. And um, to be honest, it was very nice to also just have some female energy as well on the set. Um, but, but mostly it was, it was interesting because it, you know, because we were working through this new version of who Sharon is and what she's been up to and all that stuff, you know, Kari was just great at, um, helping sort of figure that out with me. And then with the boys, you know, it's just always fun, always jokes, always laughing. And, you know, it's a lot of night shoots and a lot of, um, difficult you know circumstances on set at times you know very fast paced and so it's great to have that you know initial relationship with them having known them for a while and then also um you know just just laughing I mean that's pretty much all we do when we're not shooting so it was, it was a lot of fun the benefit of Disney plus and, and having the streaming platform in the Marvel universe I think is just 
the the value of time you know having extra time with these characters is so uh wonderful for people who are fans of the films and fans of these characters you know um Sharon is a perfect example of you know trying to figure out how to slaughter into these movies but when you're trying to service so many characters um it, it's difficult and it makes total sense you have such a limited amount of time to tell um, to tell the story and and here within this platform you really get to dig a little bit deeper into the characters and I think that um, you know for people who love these movies you know the shows are going to be really exciting.